Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to a brand new week. This is your girl, Abigail Mensa Bonsu, creator of the Sovereign Divinity Podcast, the Moon Goddess Academy, and the Moon Goddess Sacred Circle, Sisterhood Circles. So, shall we dive into the mystery of what this week has for us? So if I were to choose a word for this week, it would be new beginnings. It just feels really good. And it's no surprising that we're beginning this week with the new moon in Aries. And not to even mention like how many planets are currently in Aries. And let me see, I wrote it down so that I didn't forget. Um, let's see, we have the moon in Aries. We have the sun in Aries because we are in Aries season. We have, where did you go? We have Mercury in Aries. We have Venus in Aries. We have Chiron in Aries. We have Jupiter in Aries. Yeah, I almost got all of them. <laughs> it was like so many. There's so many planets in, in currently in Aries right now. And Aries, if, you, if there's something that you need to know about Aries is that it's the beginning of the cycle, of the zodiac cycle. Aries starts it aries is the you know brings in the energy of leadership brings in the energy of assertiveness brings in the energy of confidence of uh, fire <laughs> which have been you know i want to ask you where are you feeling the fire in your life the other thing i want to talk about aries governs the the parts of the body the head the brain um let's see here there was other ones too Aha, the face and the eyes. So the head, the brain, the face and the eyes. So even just checking in your body, like for me, we stepped into the new moon and I'm telling you, like I've been having this lingering headache like since then, right? And when I was getting ready for this, I was like, whew, yep, Aries energy. And we know that fire rises, right? Fire rises up. It also brings in the energy of the phoenix, the phoenix energy, which is like death and rebirth, letting go and then re, um, rebirthing yourself. Here's the thing. That's what I'm feeling like we're, we're being asked this week. Who are you rebirthing yourself to be? Who do you want to be? And before we even get there, what needs to go in order for the true you to step forward? And again, I'm getting like this. It requires confidence. It requires confidence. Like Aries is coming in with like a lot of fire. And this fire is to help us start afresh, right? This week really feels like a new beginning. So as you are working through your intentions for the new moon, like I won't be surprised if the intentions that come through, like if you're someone who listens, for your intentions to come to you, I wouldn't be surprised if these are much deeper than what you used to. For example, one of my intentions that came through is being, being, like really being for me is like, just be, being present with myself, just being. And part of that is knowing that, that which I'm asking for will come to me effortlessly, right? And it was like clear, it's like, just be the energy of being. And I was like, okay, okay. And then the second intention that came to me was the invitation to bring in more pleasure into my life, which I was like, hmm, Aries fire, <laughs> blessing this intention to bring more pleasure into my life, right? So be open. I, this is how I set my intentions. I always open myself up to see what my, because my higher self knows what I need right? And so I open myself up to what needs to come through. And yes, yeah, sometimes I'll write things down that I want to create a manifest, but there are those ones that are really deep and potent and comes through. And, you know, when it, it manifests, it affects every area of your life. I feel like this is the type of intentions that we get to set this week with this new moon in Aries. And if you, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know, I've been talking about when you feel, when do you feel the potency of either the full moon or the new moon It's three days before and three days after. And today, um, today is, um, today's Sunday. 
is actually the new moon. So you will still, we will still be in this energy for the next three days. We get to play in this energy for the next three days, which is pretty potent. So the question is, where do you want this fire to go? Where are you, where are you going to place this fire? Let's talk about the energy of fire. Fire can be uh, a destroyer <laughs> or a creator, right? Fire, when uncontrolled, is so powerful that it can do so much, right? It can do so much damage, which means that you need to be in your power to be able to harness your own fire. You cannot be outside of yourself and trying to harness that fire. It will just burn you up, right? You need to be in the fullness of who you are. You need to be more of you in order to be able to have the power and the ability to harness your own fire. We have this fire within us, right? We are all made up of all four elements. It's just at this time, fire is the, is the one that is being brought to the front, like very powerfully. The other part of this with the fire is that, you know, I was talking about the planets that are currently in Aries. One of the powerful planets in Aries is Chiron. Chiron is the, the wounded, is known as the, the wounded healer, the planet for the wounded healer. And what this teacher comes in to teach us is where do we need to heal? These are the deep wounds that need to come up to be healed. And with the fire of Aries, I feel like it's more like transformation. We get to go into those memories, probably childhood stuff, right? <laughs> Fire represents, if you look at the DNA, it represents the, the teen self, right? The teen self. And that is from, let's see here, 17 to 21 years old, right? And so looking at that, what needs to be transformed? Like, look at your life from 17 to 21. What happened there? What needs to be transformed there? What needs to go? Perhaps that rebirth that is happening is happening through your inner teen self, your inner child, right? That was really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. I love these, these, um, these mystery connections, right? Like bringing it back to our DNA. Fire represents our teen self from 17 to 21. When you look at your life in that chunk, what needs to go? Who do you need to transform yourself to be? Who, do you, who did you wish you were when you were at that age? And then send that fire there. With that said, let's ask the question, where do I want to send this fire? Fire, this fire needs to be directed and um, shown where it should go otherwise it's going to just take over because that's just what fire does is expansive it spreads right you cannot trying to contain fires is <laughs> it's, it's crazy right um so you need to direct it where do you want to send this creative creative energy this creative power Take an inventory of all the areas of your life. And you can even look, if you have an astrological chart, look in your chart. Where is Aries in your chart? Mine, I have Aries in my fourth house of home and family, right? So I know at this time, like that's going to be very highlighted for me. Are you an Aries? Are you a fire sign? You're going to be feeling this even more. Where do you need to direct the energy? And what needs to go? Because again, we're in, the, we're in the, the time of spring too, right? Where we're, you know, spring cleaning, where we were able to release the old. We, we, you know, we dust our houses, we mop our houses, we get it ready for the summer so we can get as much of that warm sun that comes through in the summer. Well, it's the same concept, let's bring it within. What needs to go? to make space for that sun to come through. The sun being Aries, the fire. What needs to go in order for the fire to come in, to make space for the fire to come in? So this week, really use this week to focus on your, that deep intentions. Focus on where 
you're feeling fire. And that's, this is the other thing I'm noticing is that this fire is already pulling us to where we need to put our attention. If you are listening, you know where you need to put your attention. One of the, the places highlighted for me um, with this new moon is like, oh my God, I just, I need to take care of myself, like self-love and self-care. I feel like that has been um, amplified for me. You know, before when it was just me, you know, before I met my husband, when it was just me, you know, you, you create a beautiful self-love, um, taking care of yourself. Like there's such and things that I did. I bought myself flowers all the time. I went to go do my nails, you know, um, I would get massages, I'll get acupuncture treatments. And then I, I met my, my beloved and I still, you know, that is still evolves, right? It's no longer just you. So it evolves into something more because now instead of just a one energy, it's a two energy, right? And so I, you know, I had to upgrade that. You know, I continued with the acupuncture sessions and, you know, taking care of myself, taking time to go for walks, moving my body, um, eating, you know, foods that nourish me, buying myself flowers. I was still doing that. <laughs> and then I had my son and I realized that I still, and it's like time for me to upgrade my self-care and self-love practices because what used to work certainly doesn't work right now as a mother as a mother and being called to even amp it up to the next level because if i am not happy if i am not thriving if i am not blossoming then no one in my household gets to experience the best of me and i certainly cannot give the best of me to my son and so i've had to like this whole week has been evaluating what do i need and I was like, God, I would love a massage. Like just, I, I want reflexology massage, you know, like the one that massage your feet. It's like a, a Chinese therapy, therapeutic massage, right? It's your feet. The, you know, there's a whole map there. It is, I love, I love that medicine. Um, but I am craving that. I'm craving just getting an overall massage, right? Release and all that tension, all that, you know, the, the stored stuff that we put in our body using massage to just melt it out, right? I have been craving just being in water. It's so interesting. But it's like, I've been just evaluating, what do I need? I need to eat. I need to, you know, like that's one thing about, you know, all you mothers and fathers out there listening to me, you know what I'm talking about. You get so busy with the family that sometimes you forget about yourself. You know, sometimes I forget to eat and it's, I don't eat till like in the afternoon and, um, you know, I'm anxious. I am not a happy camper <laughs> because I am hungry and my body is starving and I'm thirsty, right? I need to hydrate myself. So all of this is like, I need to amp up that. And that was very, has been very much highlighted for me. What needs to be um, pushed to the next level. So self-care, self-love. Right. And now it makes sense with the intentions of um, more pleasure, bringing in, welcoming more pleasure into my life. Right. Um, what was the first one? Of course, it escaped me. Right. But yes. So if you pay attention, you will notice that Aries is already directing, to, directing you to where you need to place your energy, where you need to put that fire right now or where the fire wants to go. Hmm, where the fire wants to go. Pay attention to that. Take some notes, right? Okay. So with that said, let's go ahead and get centered and ready to receive this week's messages, which I am using. I got a new deck from um, a soul sister of mine. She was part of the, um, the Light Summit and the Light, pod, the Light Language Podcast. Um, and she just came out with these beautiful... Um, oracle. It's called the Infinite Self Oracle Cards. I don't know if you can see it. And they're just beautiful. I love how simple they are. The imagery is just stunning. Um, the words are so captivating. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. And I love the title of the Infinite Self. Yes, we need to be connected more and more to our infinite selves, which is the higher self, right? And beyond. So Go ahead and place your hand on your heart and go ahead and breathe into your body, breathe into your heart.
bring your awareness to your heart space and go ahead and call in your higher self and your Holy Spirit self within your heart and see the essence, your light, your fire step into your heart and ignite your heart fire like a bonfire and breathe. Calling in all your divine posse, all your divine guides and guardians to come join you. From the space of your heart, go ahead and envision, see, sense, or feel this beautiful golden light pouring down from the sun above, from the heart of the divine father down your channel. And as it goes through all your power centers, your energy centers, it just kind of clears it and empowers it and rejuvenates it and brings it back alive. When it gets into your heart, it just kind of like pulls or pours into this cup, filling it until it overflows. And it overflows into every area of your body, every cell, every muscle, wherever your body, you know, like, Wherever your body needs it the most, it just goes there, it just flows through your entire being and breathe, drink it up. And again, bring your awareness to your feet, send your roots down into the earth, into Gaia, all the way down to the center of the earth where you will see the heart of the heart matrix of the Divine Mother. Go ahead and send your roots. I just plug it right in and begin to drink up her essence. Bring it up through your roots, through your legs, your thighs, all the way up. Let it flood through every part of your body as it's coming up. When it reaches your heart, it pours into that chalice, mixes in with that heavenly love. And from there, it just expands and creates this beautiful bubble of light around you. Now, see yourself centered in this beautiful bubble of light. And surrounding your bubble of light is all your divine helpers, all your divine guides and guardians, angels and archangels, all supporting you. Breathe. And be open to receiving your support, your love, your presence. And from here, go ahead and ask the question, where do I need to direct this fire this week? Where do I need to direct this fire this week? One, two, or three. And once you have received this, your number, all numbers, go ahead and open your eyes, still saying, staying present in your heart, open and ready to receive your message for this week. All right. Ooh, I love these cards. Are you ready for this? Okay. So if you were called to card number one, this week you are being, well, what am I looking for? Okay. Here's your card. The divine DNA. That's what it says. Divine DNA. Look how beautiful this card is. So this week is all about spiritual upgrades. So you will be receiving a spiritual upgrade this week, which makes a lot of sense with the energy of fire, right? Yes, please. Here's the message for you. We evolve from the inside out. The alchemical fires of transmutation. The biochemical changes allow you to embody the divinity in your humanity. Very important. Celebrate the perfection of imperfection in your humanness. You are a divine work of art. Celebrate the totality of yourself. Let me read this again. So card number one, this week is all about spiritual upgrade. Um, it's about DNA activation. So we are receiving those sun codes to activate more of you if you're drawn to card number one. So the message is this, we evolve from the inside out the alchemical fires of transmutation, the biochemical changes allow you to embody the divinity in your humanity. Celebrate the perfection of, imp of imperfections in your humanness. You are a divine work of art. Celebrate the totality of yourself. Card number one, divine DNA, spiritual upgrade. Beautiful. Thank you.
If you were drawn to card number two, this week is all about rebirth and new beginning for you. Woo right? Perfect. Again, perfect in alignment with the new moon in Aries, right? I'm telling you. It's a potent, potent week. So here's the beautiful card. Rebirth and new beginning. And here is your message. You are emerging from an exploration of the depths of your soul's wisdom and essence. It is time to return to your life with this deeper knowing of your purpose in the world. Be confident that you have embodied your next level of evolution. Mm, just take that in. Just take that in. Rebirth, new beginnings, card number two. I'm going to read it again. You are emerging from an exploration of the depths of your soul's wisdom and essence. It is time to return to your life with a deeper knowing of your purpose in the world. Be confident that you have embodied your next level of evolution. Card number two. Beautiful. All right. Now let's move on to card number three. This is the card that called to me. These cards are like moving on the own. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. So card number three, if you're drawn to card number three, your card is the heart chakra healing and it says love. So here's the thing. They're all, all these cards represent an aspect of fire right? The heart is, I talked about this, I think it was like last week's, yeah, last week's energy forecast. The heart represents fire water, right? It's the aspect of fire and water. Fire coming from above, water coming from below. It's beautiful, right? And then, you know, fire also, the heart represents love, which represents fire. I mean, it's all aspect of the, of the element of fire. So if you're drawn to card number three, look how beautiful this card is. And this is my card. It has like two white tank, um, tigers in there. I love it. It has the angelic wings and also the infinity. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So here's the message for us, those of us who received card number three. So again, it's about heart chakra healing. You're going to be focused on opening your heart and healing the heart wounds and expanding your heart to receive even more. Um, this card has to do with love. So here's the message. Awaken your Bodhisattva Bud self. Awaken your Bodhisattva self. So um, Bodhisattva is also saying, awaken the highest version of yourself, the God self, right? Draw on the unconditional love and compassion of the sacred self seated in your heart emanate grace and forgiveness to live life with an open heart sit cross-legged with eyes closed breathe in pure white light and exhale dense energies Ooh! so if you're down to card number three do this with me just close your eyes and imagine you you have this beautiful luminescent pure just beautiful bubble of light around you Begin to breathe in that white light, breathe it into your being, breathe it into every cell in your body, every organ in your body, everywhere that you feel like you need to release. And when you breathe out, breathe out that tension, the dense energy, the heaviness, the weight, just breathe it out, let it go and see transmuted by the fires, the divine fires that surround you. Let's do this a couple of more times. Breathe in light. Breathe out the dense energies. <sighs> Breathe in light. Breathe out and let go. <sighs> and open your heart. Open your heart. And see that light, that, that beautiful light emanating out of you. Bring in the energies of grace and forgiveness. Let it radiate out of you. So I'm going to read the message again. Awaken your Buddhisattva self. Draw on the unconditional love and compassion of the sacred self seated in your heart. 
emanates grace and forgiveness to live life with an open heart and sit cross-legged with eyes closed. Breathe in pure white light and exhale dense energies. And since if you look at the card again, you know, you have the two, you know, the two beautiful white tigers. So I encourage you to work with the tigers this week. And also you have the angelic wings, right? Um, the I'm getting like the seraphims, the fire. We, they're the archangels known as the fiery ones. So I invite you to call them in. Actually, this will be for everyone, right? Call them in and work with your energies. They're very powerful. When they come into your energy field, they will dissolve any dense energies, any vibrations that are not in alignment with your highest and best good or the divines, right? Anything that's not of love will be burned away. Work with them. Call them into your energy field. Call them into your home. Call them into your business, right? Just call the angels in. Bring their fiery energies into your being to awaken your own angelic fire, your own angelic beingness. What a beautiful message we've received this week, right? So let's just run through real quick. If you're drawn to card number one, this week is about DNA activation. And also let's see here, the spirit, so it's a spiritual upgrade for you this week, right? Beautiful card. You can see the DNA there. You can see the spiral symbol, the triangles of us above, so below, right? Connecting um, the two aspects of ourselves, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, the second one, again, bringing in um, rebirth. If you're drawn to card number two, rebirth. This week is all about rebirth and new beginning. And if you look at the image, we have the element of water in here. I love the image of the women. Um, you see this one here um, as she's reaching, she's connected to her star, her divine starlight. I love this image here of the woman, the in total surrender, um, in total communion with all that she is, in ecstasy, actually, in pleasure of who she is. Like, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then the last one right here. And also, you know, you know, we have the look at the colors, too. So we have the red. You know, you can work with these colors this week. The red for card number one. We have the, the light blue for card number two. And then we have the green, right, for card number three. <laughs> I could like, there's so many messages. Like, I love, this is how I love to work with cards, is that I go beyond what the messages say. And I look at the colors, I look at the, the imagery, you know, and this is even how I teach people to use the tarot. Right. Um, instead of just them, you know, going on the Internet, finding the the meaning of the cards, like I want them to look at the cards and see what stories come up for them, you know, and because it's so powerful, you, you end up receiving exactly what you need when you do it that way. Of course, you can read it. You can read the interpretation and kind of find or highlight the ones that stand out to you. But there's nothing like looking at a card and letting it tell you a story. Right. It's powerful powerful stuff so this car this week is all about fire <laughs> fire because very soon we're going to be stepping into Taurus season right coming soon but we're still in the fire season we have this new moon really helping us to welcome the new helping us to set the new stage for the new cycle in our life and also in in the bigger um in the bigger or what am I looking for the bigger life in the bigger world right we have the opportunity to really ask for what do we want to experience and set good intentions, powerful intentions. But also we have the opportunity because this is the energy of fire we're working with, just like the phoenix rising, right? Use the fires to go within to burn away anything that no longer serves you. All the dense energies, all the dense vibrations, all the contracts that and the vows that you've said that no longer serves you, right? All the cords that are still attached to you that are draining your life force, use this fire to transmute and burn away anything that's not for your highest good. And use the fire to step back into love, the unconditional love that you are. Mm, powerful week. So I would love to hear from you. How did you feel as you were receiving this message for this week? 
I feel like we don't even need light language this week. Like just this transmission takes care of everything, right? Like we have the, the seraphim archangels here doing the thing with us this week, which you, if you would like to work with them again, you know, when it comes to the angels or the masters of light, they're not just going to jump in, you know, against your will. you got to call them in. you got to choose to want to work with them, right? They will never go against your will. So if that is something that calls to you, then call them to come into your, your being, your life, your house, to, to work with you with your fiery, fiery energy, right? So yeah, this week is very activating, very potent. Tap into that energy, direct it. Remember, you are the creatrix, the creator of your life. You have the power. Harness that power of fire. Direct it to where you want it to go, where you want to bring life. When you, where you want to um, bring life into your life. <laughs> That's funny, right? It's like bring life into your life. Like, where do you want to see that rebirth happening in your life? Which area of your life? potent powerfully so so much blessings to you from my heart to yours and if you are not in my in my facebook group moon goddess sacred sanctum go ahead and join us there you can always pop in there and share your highlights from the the forecast the energy forecast that you watch every week and i invite you to share it with those that you know will benefit from this and subscribe to my channel too so that you can get notifications of all the yummy stuff that i share through this channel but until next time, thank you again for joining me and have a powerful, activating, passionate, loving, amazing week. Bye.